Hey YouTube, Opinionative Reviewer here. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak the official launch. Yes, the official launch of iOS 5. Now, I was waiting to see if Red Snow would have been updated or, or so that you don't have to point it to the GM version, but you still have to point it to the GM version to jailbreak the official iOS version. So you're going to need two things. You're going to need the Red Snow to jailbreak, and you're going to also need the uh, iOS 5 GM IPSW. I'll have the link in the description where you can download everything and also there'll be a link in the description to a written guide so you can follow that guide if you and if you have any uh, problems like errors and stuff you can visit the guide and scroll down to the bottom you'll see some troubleshooting steps so yeah you only need two things and this is a tether jailbreak as soon as the untethered jailbreak comes out I'm gonna do a video on it so stay tuned for that but for now there isn't an untethered so you have to use the tether jailbreak so you'll have to use Red Snow to boot your device tethered every time your battery dies, you reboot or you power off your device. So now what we're going to do is just right click Red Snow, click properties, compatibility, check off run this program in compatibility mode 4, Windows Service Pack 2, check run this program as an administrator, hit apply and then hit OK. And that's for Windows 7 and Windows Vista's users. If you don't see it, then don't trip. Then you don't need it. That step is not mandatory. So now you're going to run Red Snow. Click Yes. And you're going to click Extras. You're going to click Extras because we got to browse for IPSW. And you're going to click Select IPSW. So we're going to select it manually. Mine is on my desktop right here after I select it. It says the following has been identified. So now we're going to go back and now we're going to go ahead and click jailbreak. It's going to patch the kernel. And now we're, I'm going to go ahead and enable all three of these stuff. Uh, battery percentage, multitask gestures, and install CD. I'm using my iPod Touch 4th gen. And I'm just going to go ahead and click next. Now we got to put our, ID, our device into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry, I'm going to show you. You're going to hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds. Then you're going to release the power button, keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until Red Snow recognizes the iDevice. You do not have to click next. We're going to do the step. Whenever Red Snow recognizes your device, it's going to automatically do it for you. So now let's go. There go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Release. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi. As you see, Red Snow recognizes the I device. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to let Red Snow work its magic. And after Red Snow work its magic, I'm going to come back when it's finished. So now that Red Snow is finished, you're going to realize that your CDR is going to be crashing and also your Safari is going to be crashing. You might have a white CDR icon. Don't worry, that's normal for Tether jailbreak. Now what we got to do is boot the device Tether. So now we're going to run Red Snow again. Yes. And we're going to click Extras. Then we're going to click Just Boot. Just Boot right now. And now we got to get ready to put our device into DFU mode again. So let's go. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Release. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi. And we release Red Snow to so recognize our device again. So all we got to do is wait for Red Snow to boot up tethered. And I'm going to come back when that is finished. So now that Red Snow is finished, your Cydia and your Safari should be working like normal. Now remember this is a tethered jailbreak, so you're going to have to use Red Snow to boot tethered. Every time your battery dies, you reboot your device or you power off your device. So yes, please remember that. Link in the description to troubleshooting steps, a guide, and everything you need to download. You are now jailbroken, and the jailbreak force be with you. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.